Hmm? We might have an issue with this again. Yeah. It's oil. You have poor lens hygiene. I do have poor lens hygiene. 25 years of marriage, baby. Yep. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. Bro, this lighting does not do justice. <laughs> now, let's put you down, you guys. It is book club tonight, and mom forgot about it. Just did not. You're a little crooked. I'm always crooked. They're very used to my camera being crooked, Jess. <laughs> We're not perfectionists over at Sheepishly Me, not like Miss Jessica. I usually not either. So we have three minutes until book club starts. Yes, ma'am. Let me show the early birds. Oh, I, I forgot to post about it, so. Yeah, you did. You did the communion post a while ago, though. Thank gosh. There's the early birds. <laughs> That's so cool. And you look like, oh my god, I'm stuck with my mom. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Sunday. Sorry, I'm just trying to put away some stuff here. Um, last night, Jess and I had book club. I completely thought it was today. I thought, it was, I thought book club was Sunday this week. So it was nice having her home yesterday. She, I texted her. I'm like, are you home tomorrow? She goes, I'm home. I'm leaving now. I'm like, okay, why? And she goes, we have book club tonight. I'm like, pardon? <laughs> anyway, um, it was a really good meeting. All of our meetings are good. It's been a fun little thing that we started doing uh, in the fall, I believe. Doesn't matter. It's been fun. I've really looked forward to it. Uh, so yeah, if you... Um, if you're an avid reader, which Jess is, then yeah, you can follow along. We meet every month, once a month, usually usually like around the last weekend of every month. I think this month being a short month, we're actually pushing it into March. We do it live on her YouTube channel, but you can always catch it later because it doesn't go anywhere. You don't have to be there when we're doing it. You can watch us later. And we're also on Instagram now, and we've called ourselves Brock Book Nook, so you can follow along there. And I think she's got a poll going on right now, so we'll see who the winner is. We always let you guys decide on, like, between three books for our next month's read. I'm on to another book right now on Audible, Crown of Midnight. And Jess was saying that a lot of people like this one the best, so I'm very excited. I'm on chapter three, so... Got a ways to go. We are on chore duty today, again, all weekend, because Carissa asked for this weekend off. She typically asks for every other weekend off because that's what she's off at the dairy barn as well. Gives her a nice break from all her work and, and a rest. I think probably what we'll do is uh, get chores done here, go say hi to the Golden Girls. Yesterday it was like a hundred percent ruthless files. Really? Oh, it, yeah. hi. Here's your flowers. Where should I put them? Show them what I want to show the people. These are Lego flowers. Aren't they so cute? Lego flowers. They are really cute. When are you going back to school? Tonight. Can you see them okay in there? Yeah. Good enough. Yeah. You know they're there. You're not taking them back to Guelph? My Lego flowers? Yeah. No, I have nowhere to put them out of school. Uh oh. 
she's too thick. Poor Jess had uh, finance homework, and for the last two weekends, she's needed Mark to help her figure it out. And uh, they worked on that for like six hours, I think. So yeah, that class is giving her grief, and it's not the one she was expecting. So I've been sort of just working around the house. Mark made a delicious supper. What do we have tonight? We had steak on the smoker, it was awesome. So I have been uh, puzzling. Anyway, that is Sunday. Good morning. I'm just warming up my beast of a truck. We did get a little snow overnight. It's been uh, sort of spring-like the last few days, but today it's a little more like winter. I am getting my wool wash this morning, so I have been in conversations with Richard at Baton's, the place where I get my wool washed, and uh, yeah, we've been back and forth a little bit, and I was supposed to take this last Thursday, and he just messaged me and said, can we do it Monday? So. Monday is today already. Now the wool is in a couple places. I still have a few bags in the actual barn. I think the rest is all stockpiled in our storage containers. That will take up a good chunk of this morning. And then I'm not really sure what we're doing this afternoon. Mark's ice fishing trip got uh, canceled yesterday. So he's home this week. So he has contacted Jack. Um, if you remember on my last video, he's had water issues and we have basement problems. So we had booked this weekend to help him demolish and rebuild his basement basically because Jack is not on the road this week. We might just pick away on a few nights during the week and then have the big, big go on the weekend. I think he's going to head down to Jack's eventually today. I have it tentatively written that I should maybe look at hoof trimming the second half of this March breeding group. So my ewe lambs are done, I did them last week, and I still have my mature ewes I should do. So that's gonna happen this week. I'm just not sure if it's gonna be today. We're gonna see. five or so in the barn room still. Alright. Come back a bit then I'll open the door. You want me to come back and you can turn on? Yeah. Maybe just drop the door. And I got stuff in the barn too, but I can load that with the tractor. What's that? Six bags. Yeah, will it all fit? It all fit well. I'll have to get her up to the front. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. Okay. enough for them to wash so I'll have to just take it to Mariposa. All right we are completely full of wool. I've had this trailer full before but I think uh, 
I think this is the most I've ever taken to get washed at one time. I believe there's 10 bags. So that's exciting for you guys. Uh, we have been stockpiling this since the last time I took all my wool to Mariposa, which would have been just shy of a year ago, because I think I took most of my 2022 wool last year to get uh, done for our fall winter launch. We are still sitting on some of that wool because a lot of the stuff didn't get done in time that we wanted to do this year. Uh, yeah, that launch was, I'm still sort of nightmaring about that launch. So I've already been planning and doing a bunch of stuff this whole month in terms of fulfillment, wool, all the things for uh, this coming fall, winter, and maybe even next year. So I'm hoping we're a little more organized this year. Uh, the problem was last year, the the quantity just ended up being too much for the, for the ladies at Mariposa. So they ended up uh, farming out quite a bit of my wool to Quebec to get spun, and they did a really good job. So likely what will happen with this stuff that's getting washed uh, I'll probably, I might actually just deal with Quebec directly. And then uh, I think I was talking to Ellen and she said a bale. So, so maybe a couple bags worth of wool would be a bale, two or three bags, uh, would be enough for them to do the roving and the kits. So they do all my needle felting stuff, but the actual yarn, like the spun wool gets done in Quebec. So I might just deal with them directly if I can. And then Ellen for all the Mariposa directly for all the needle felting kits. So that will be hopefully happening this year. But yeah, we've made a few changes that um, I'll probably talk to you guys about um, over the next little while. But it was it was uh, some big decisions needed to be made, and they they got made. So anyway, that'll be uh, that'll be this year's fun. But uh, I'm hitting the road, so I got to put down my camera. I will talk to you guys soon. Just nicely getting back from getting that wool washed and I uh, had a really good talk with Richard. This is awesome how busy he's been. He goes, um, 12 hour days. Oh, I'm just looking at my telehandler. It's looking a little, really. I'm like, why is it just a lot of business right now? And he goes, I said, or is it a labor issue? And he goes, so I think a lot of people in a lot of industries right now are just really dealing with labor issues. So. Uh, I was feeling pretty bad for him, but he said, no, yours is going to work out good. I'm going to do yours first thing today. And then I think he said he had eight custom orders coming in like this afternoon. So I think he wanted to get mine done and out of the way. I'm just looking at my telehandler and it looks like we've got a leak again. Anyway, Mark wanted me to grab the telehandler here. He cleaned out the shop and he wanted me to clean up some sawdust that was on the ground. But I want to start this and see if there's a leak. <laughs> with this again. Why? Because there's a little bit of black right here, which looks like a leak. I turned it on and I couldn't see anything, but there's definitely, oh, Jesus. and that looks wet back there. Then you got a hydraulic leak somewhere. Again, another one. Yeah. It's oil. It's almost engine oil. Oh, that's what I'm thinking too. I know there was black on the... I just noticed on the ground I thought I saw some dripping. That's where it's like the sort of moistest.
I think she's telling us it's time to retire her. Well, it doesn't have the hours on to oh, be no. like I, this troublesome. Turn off the camera, Sandy. Mm -hmm. Well, Mark is not too happy with this thing. We've had it fixed so many times already this year, or I guess the last few months. And uh, he wonders if it's an actual engine oil leak. Uh, we checked the dipstick and we're, we're still good. We're still in the zone, but he's like, we might have to power wash it to see where it's actually leaking from. Cause right now it's like we can't, and we just can't see where the leak is originating from. Just finished having lunch and uh, Mark watches a ton of YouTube as well as me, but um, some of the people he's been watching, they've been advertising these meals, like pre-made meals. I think it's by the same company that does, like I think they're affiliated somehow with, um, oh, what is the, what is the place? They have those pre-made, HelloFresh. I think it's HelloFresh. So it's a company called Factor. And for the last couple of weeks, we've been experimenting with their pre-made meals. And let me tell you, I'm really bad when I go in for lunch, probably cause I don't know. I don't know if I haven't been eating enough breakfast or I've been eating breakfast that's a bit carb heavy and I haven't been eating enough protein. And then by lunch, I'm famished. I like eat everything in sight and then can't move <laughs> until like, three o'clock then I'm hungry again. He discovered this company and of course the first few meals you get are like really good deals because they want to get you into the program. But honestly like we were gonna we were gonna stop getting the meals because like the discounts are starting to like dwindle out but we eat so much better when we're on it. Like we don't I don't I'm a big snacker like I snack all the time. Every time I walk into the house I grab something to eat and uh since I've had lunch, had like one of their lunches, um, I haven't been hungry and it's been so amazing. Like I just haven't been snacking near as much. We keep experimenting with them because they're so yummy and we want to sort of not forget about them because we think that they'll work really, really well with when we get into field work. So yeah, anyway, we're basically going through all the meals. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about, I'm not sponsored by them. I don't even know. They obviously do sponsor YouTubers, but I haven't, so far I haven't really done much of that. I've done some affiliate stuff with people, but we will see what this year brings in regards to that sort of stuff. Now that I'm nourished and feeling much more energetic, I am going to attack, not attack, will take me literally there, but I'm going to attack another hoof trimming job. And uh, we're going to do, I think there's only like 60 mature ewes in this group, which is two really nice days of like 30 ewes. So I'm gonna set up here. I'm gonna finish reading my book. Uh, I read, I listened to most of it yesterday. I only have an hour and a half left of it. That should get me through hoof trimming today. And then I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to download the next book because I can't wait till I have another credit. It's just the way it is. It's too good of a series. You are such a good dog, aren't you? Always by my side. The other two.
All right, we got the whole barn cleaned up. Sandy clean, not Carissa clean. That is not Carissa clean. Don't let me fool you. So what I had to do is because this group only has the one water bowl, I had to use the water bowl gate. So I actually divided the pen in half. So I got half. The half that I'm doing is right in front of the door and the other half that I've done is at the back with a gate in between them. So as long as they keep the gate locked, which they should, then we're good to go. I think tomorrow, Mark and I are heading down to my sister's place to hang out with her and her husband. We're doing some planning and we will fill you guys in on that soon. That's where we're gonna be tomorrow, so I'm not gonna be able to finish that job tomorrow. Love to finish it Wednesday afternoon. Wednesday morning, I'm gonna grab Carissa and we're going to take the ewes that have been destined to be shipped. We're gonna ship them on Wednesday morning while I've got her. And then Wednesday afternoon, I'm totally free and I could tackle that last part of that group. And then if I still have time this week, I would love to get the boys done because it's been a bit since we've done them. Now, once that group is done, we are all caught up until Charlie comes to Sheer Willow's group. And I believe that's next week. And then we'll probably plan to vaccinate and hoof trim them maybe the week after. So by the end of February, by mid-February, we'll have a lot of this whole flock hoof trimmed, vaccinated, sheared, all the things, like right caught up, which is great. And then they'll be ready to wean already. And then the cycle starts again. Children, it is time to go to the house and figure out what we're gonna do for supper. I mean, Lucy's had her calories in hoof trimming. Good morning. We are uh, not working in the barn today and I'm sort of glad. It is a nasty, nasty day. We're heading to my sister's place. You're gonna hang out with Carl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Carlitos. And Lisa and I are gonna hang out. What is on my... Holy crap. You have poor lens hygiene. I do have poor lens hygiene. I actually can't take this camera anywhere because of the DNA that's all over this. The unknown substances. Ooh, we need to get that. Hello, Mark speaking. We're entering my old stomping grounds. Wow. Uh, sort arm, of. The armpit of Ontario. Stop! Is not. When did you guys get running water? Stop! Indoor plumbing? Stop! I believe the house we live in didn't have indoor plumbing till when? Like you're, oh, no, you're, you, when your you dad was benefit, living in you there. You had the benefit you could crap outside or you could crap inside. See, that's what I mean. It's an old gleaner. That's how... Uh, Stop! That's like modern equipment here. We did have a gleaner. Stop it. I am, I'm you're being... You're offending someone. Well, it wouldn't be my job if I wasn't making someone mad. You used to say that when you... We're in politics. Yeah, well, you can't please everybody. I have the Super Mario Brothers jingle stuck in my head. So every time I stop talking, I start humming it. And what do you say? Don't. Because I don't think it's 100% correct. It is. No. I literally just used it as a as audio on a reel this morning. That's why it's stuck in my head. I haven't heard it in yeah, but eons. Was it modified so with new I don't think so. Stuff? Do, 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 no, do, stop. Do, 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 it's do. annoying. Anyway. 25 years of marriage, baby. Yep. My mom and dad live this way, and our old farm is this way. Mom and dad? Home. Oh, I'll be able to show them my elementary school from grade one and two. My teacher hated me. Was it a one-room school? No. 
It is tiny though. Stop. You go really fast. No, I don't. I didn't do the speed limit. There it time. is. Right there. Oh it's yeah, little, they are. Tough. Looks a little tough. I think they're doing the apartments. It seems weird because it's in the middle of nowhere, really. Well, housing crisis? I guess. This is where my sister works. Hi, Lisa. You have arrived at your destination. All right, we have uh, just nicely got home. It's almost five o'clock. The day sort of got away from us, but we had a great visit with my sister and my brother-in-law. And um, we were just making some plans. We're actually doing some traveling together. And I don't love talking about it here because I've, I've gotten enough flack over the years for the few times I've gone away. And then I feel really guilty going away and talking about it because not everybody can afford going away and we're very privileged and all the things. Mark's 50 uh, this year and we never really celebrated it. And uh, we've, we've got sort of a bucket list of places we want to see. Now Mark did a Nuffield tour of Australia uh, a couple years ago, right before COVID. And I met him in New Zealand because uh, that was the second half of his trip which was amazing, but we had to fly home early because uh, our prime minister wanted the everything shut down. So uh, our trip sort of got cut short. So we've done some odds and sods here and there, just some short few day trips, but uh, this is a pretty significant one and it's to the UK. And uh, that's been definitely on my bucket list. Uh, and Australia is still the place I really want to see as well. But anyway, so that's coming up. So we wanted to book some Airbnbs and some hotels and stuff. Uh, the first half of the trip is work. We're actually meeting uh, meeting a few people and I'm probably going to vlog when I'm there. So I'll take you guys along for it. Not everybody likes seeing travel vlogs, I realize, but I actually just want it for my own memory base. And uh, I'm actually really looking forward to it. So yeah. I'll keep you guys in the loop, but uh, it's coming up shortly. I had to drop Mark off to take care of the dogs. I'm just heading into town. We need dog food and coffee. 